In this video, we're going to make a simple, beautiful, and customizable website for your stream in just a couple of minutes. Let's get right into it. Okay, so you're a streamer and you want to advertise yourself a little bit more, or you just want to have a web page that you can send your viewers to that has more information about you, but you have no coding experience. What do you do? Well, you're actually in a lot of luck because there's a new template out and it's called Twitchy. And what Twitchy is, is a one page customizable website template that you can set up in just a matter of minutes. So we're going to go ahead and go through how to set up Twitchy and how to get it up and running very quickly and very easily. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to twitchy.tv and we're going to go ahead and check out what this all offers. So you can scroll down and you can read through all about Twitchy on this website and you can see how to set it up. But let's take a quick look at some of the features that I think are really important. The first one is responsive design. Now, if your viewers are on their desktop or they're on their tablet or if they're on their phone, it doesn't matter. Your web page is going to load up and it's going to look nice and it's going to fit to that device. The next thing that it does is it dynamically pulls your Twitch avatar, Steam status, title, game, and number of viewers. And then it also has links to all of your social media and any of your donation and tip services. And again, it's customizable and it's really easy to set up. And let's scroll down just a little bit more and check out two quick examples. So the first one I'm going to load up is the one that was designed for Lyric. And when you load it, you can see the nice design of it. In the top left, it shows that Lyric is currently offline. And then it has all the links to his social media and donation methods. And then in the middle, you can see his avatar and his next stream starts Monday at noon. And then you can view the channel right here. Now on the second one for Bad Bad Robot, we can see that it has something a little bit different in the background other than a static image. It's actually an animated video. And a person like me just thinks this is really cool. So the one that we're going to set up is actually going to have this animated background in it. Now, before we go ahead and purchase the template, let's take a look at what's required and included. So the first thing we see is that we need a website domain. So this is basically the name of our website. And you can buy this at godaddy.com or a similar site like that. It should be only a couple of dollars. The next thing that we see that's going to be required is a Linux web server with PHP 5 and curl enabled. Now, if you're not sure what that means, don't worry. But what you need to do is you need to find a web hosting company that has Linux based servers with PHP 5 and curl enabled. There are a lot of web hosting companies out there, and I do want to mention that a lot of them do help you in setting up your first website. So that might help in your decision of which to choose. And finding these requirements for this type of server is really common. So you won't have too much of a problem doing this part. But let's take a look at what's included. We can see that we'll get the website template files, the setup instructions, and then ongoing template support via hello at twitchy.tv. So that's pretty cool. If you're having any trouble with the template, which when I set it up the first time, it took me literally two minutes. So I don't think you will, but if you do, you can send an email here and you'll get a response about your questions about the template. Okay, so I purchased the template and I downloaded the files and I'm ready to go. But before we continue, I do want to mention that there's one step that we're not going to cover in this tutorial. And the reason for that is because there's a lot of different companies and there's different ways to do this. And what you need to have done is make sure that your domain name is pointed at your web server. This basically just means that anytime someone goes to your domain, their web browser needs to know where to get the files from. Now, if you use the same company to purchase your domain and purchase the file server, then it's probably done automatically. If not, you might need to look into it just a little bit more and you can do this either through their customer service or some of their help pages on their website. So with that said, I'm going to load up FileZilla. And this is the program that I actually use to connect to my web server. And this means I can upload any files that I want to to the web server. And I can also make any changes that I want to to these files while they're on it. So we can customize everything that we need to. Now, I've already connect via the quick connect feature of FileZilla, which means I just entered in my host, my username, and my password at the top, and then hit quick connect. And now I can navigate on the right between my web server and on the left is all of my local files. 
So from here, I'm going to select Luca.com and this is where I'm going to store all the files. And for my web server, I need to put them in the HTML folder. Now this might differ because you might use a different company. So again, if you need to make sure and contact your web host and have them walk you through this process because that's what they're there for. And they should be able to help you out very easily. So what we could do is we can navigate to the files on the left using all the local type things from FileZilla, but I find it easier just to open up the folder and then go into the Twitchy folder and I can see all these files. The CSS folder includes JS index.php and then below that is the readme. Now this is the file that you can read that will help you with the configuration of the template, but we don't need to actually upload this file. So I'm going to click CSS and then hold shift and then click PHP to select all the files that I need to upload. Then I'm going to just drag all of these files into the HTML folder on my web server and they're going to upload. And after that, we're ready to configure this and have everything working properly. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go into my HTML folder and then I'm going to go into the includes folder. Now in here, we're actually going to see a couple of files, but the two important ones are config.php and config-default.php. Now we actually want to edit config.php, but config-default.php is actually a backup of that. So if we ever make any mistakes with the main config file, we can rest assured that we have a nice backup to get us right back to where we started. Anyways, let's select config.php, right click it, and then hit view slash edit. Once you do this with FileZilla, it will open the file in your default text editor. For me, it's Sublime Text, and it might even ask you what text editor to use, which you could use something like Notepad. If you can, I would check out Sublime Text and download that because it's really great and makes this process a lot easier. Now with this config file open, we can see all the information that we need to actually set up and configure the website properly. If you're not familiar with any of this, then any of these slashes just represent a comment. And what those are are just basically information from the developer that he would like us to see and be able to read to help us out. So we can see the information for the developer right here at the top. And then below we can see a welcome to the Twitchy config file. And then below that we can see the first thing that we need to configure, which is the Twitch username. So by reading the comments, I know that all I need to enter is the actual username of my Twitch channel. And for this one, it's going to be for Luca. So in between the apostrophes or the single quotes, I'm just going to enter in Luca. Now, after I've done that, I can move down to the custom display name and we can see that this is just simply an override. If let's say you want to have a different name displayed other than what your Twitch channel name is. Now I don't need that. So I'm going to leave it blank. And below that we can see our site tagline. And this is just a tagline that shows up in the title of your website. Basically, if you have tabs open, multiple tabs in something like Firefox or Chrome, uh, this will be what displays there. Now I'm going to enter in what Luca wanted and we're going to move on. Oh, and I wanted to mention that we are putting this now in between the double quotes and not single quotes. So you can see that it's either going to be in between single or double quotes. Moving on to the next section, the site description, we could go ahead and enable this because it says this option is disabled by default. I'm not going to do this one for this video, but you could if you want. I don't think it's that important for the purposes of this website, but if you wanted to do it, you would simply just remove the double slashes here on the last line of the section, and then you would enter in your custom description here. Below that, you'll actually see site keywords, and this is just the keywords that search engines can pick up on. And if you wanted to, you could enter in the name of certain games that you play or a name you want to be found by. Uh, again, I'm going to leave these at default and I'm going to move on. The accent color is a color that's going to be used throughout your website. So if you went to your Twitch profile when you were logged in and you hit change profile banner and you selected a color here, this is actually the color that Twitch you will automatically pull in to use for your website. However, if you wanted to override it, you could go back into the config and then remove the double slashes and enter in your own hex color right here. But I want to leave it at default. And then the offline status below is a custom option that is off by default as well. Now I'm going to leave this off for right now, but I'm going to go back to this in a little bit. So let's move on to the big section. 
the social links. Here is where you can enter in all of your social connections. Now, if you don't use these, don't worry, just leave them blank. But if you do, just enter in all of your usernames here. So I'm gonna enter in a Twitter username, Steam, YouTube, Instagram, Reddit, and let's see here, we're also going to do the Twitch contact, which is just our Twitch username again, and I'm gonna use the email blank. Again, just leave them blank if you don't use them, but if you do, make sure to fill them out right here. Then below that, we can see a section for all the donation and tip services. And for Luca, she only uses stream tip, so we're gonna use that one right here. And then we can even enter in our Amazon affiliate URL or extra life URL and even our Steam trade gift URL, which is your Steam trade offer URL. Now below that is where we get into the background and kind of some more custom options. The website background color, if you wanna just use a solid color, you can remove the double slashes here and put in a color that you wanna use. And then below that, we have the overlay opacity. And you can see right now it's set at 0.6, which means 60% opacity. And I'm going to leave it at its default. And here for the YouTube video background is actually where I'm going to put in a video ID of a YouTube video I want to use, where I want it to start at, how many seconds. And this is a great feature that I think is added. And I'm going to put in 10. And then if I want the video to repeat, yes or no and I'm gonna put yes. Now below that, you can see an image background, but since I'm using the video background, I don't have to worry about it. However, if you did wanna use an image background, you would simply remove the double slashes, and then you would put the link to the image right here. Now, the easiest way to do this is to put the uh, image on Imager, and then put the file URL right here, and you can see the formatting of it is included. Now below, we can see that this even includes Google Analytics, which is a great tool to use to find out where people are coming from to get to your site. But uh, we're not gonna use it in this video. And then we can see that we have the finished message. And now what we need to do is just go ahead and click File, Save, or Control S. And I'm gonna hop back over to FileZilla and it's gonna say, hey, I saw that you're changing a file. Do you wanna change it? And I'm gonna click Yes. And then from there, I'm gonna go to luca.com and voila, the website is ready to go and looks amazing. Everything's looking great. You can see in the top left, it says the channel name is offline. You can see the top right has all the social links set up and you can click through them to verify that they're working properly. And then we can see the avatar has been automatically pulled in. And then below that, we even have a view channel button. But the one thing I do wanna change is right here is her last stream title. So let's go back into Sublime Text or your text editor and then go to the offline status section. Then I'm gonna remove the double slashes right here in the last part of the section. And here's where we can put a custom message when we're offline. Something like, hey, I'll be on tomorrow at 5 p.m. or something like that will be very helpful to any viewers that come to your channel when you're offline. So for hers, I'm just gonna leave it at the default. I'm gonna save this file again Go back to FileZilla and hit yes. And then I'm gonna reload the page and we'll see that it's updated and working. And our website's done. It took us just a couple of minutes. It looks good and it's all configured. Now your website's done and you can use the link to get your current viewers more information about you or you can use it as an advertising tool to get more viewers to your channel. It's really up to you what you do with this. All the links for the programs I use are gonna be in the description below. Make sure to check out twitchy.tv to get this awesome template. And then if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. But again, if you do have questions in specific about your domain purchase and your web hosting, give those companies a call. Their customer service will be able to help you out a lot more than I can. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you really liked it, then make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.